Hello, in front of me I have Motorola Edge 20 Lite and I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks you can use on this device. Let's start by opening the settings. To do it, swipe upwards on the screen. To open the app menu, scroll down and tap on the settings icon. Now, the first thing I want to show you is how to change the refresh rate of your screen. To do it, tap on the display option, select advanced, scroll down and tap on display refresh rate. And here we can uh, choose between two types of refresh rate. We have 60 Hz and 90 Hz. If you select 60 Hz, your screen will be less smooth. As you can see when you scroll on the screen, it's quite visible, but it will save more battery in the process. It's less battery consuming. And if you select 90 Hz, the screen will be smoother, but it's gonna consume more battery in the process. Okay, that's how you change the refresh rate of your screen. Let's go back. And in settings, let's scroll down and tap on the system and select gestures. And here's a couple more things I want to show you. First one is open camera quickly. This option allows you to open the camera app by double pressing the power button. So if you enable it by tapping the switch, you can press the uh, power button twice quickly to open the camera app. A little shortcut. Next we have system navigation and here we can customize uh, the way or then we can change the way we navigate our system. By default the gesture nav navigation is enabled and uh, basically how it works is to go back you swipe from the edge of the phone to the middle you will see this arrow right here appear and when you release the finger you will go back like this. To go home screen you swipe upwards from the bottom of the screen and to open the recent apps you swipe from the bottom hold in the middle until the menu appears like this. Different option we have is a free button navigations. And basically this is the uh, older one. Basically you have three buttons uh, at the bottom of the screen. On the right we have recent apps button. In the middle we have home and on the, on the left we have back button. We can also customize the gesture navigation by typing the settings icon right here and what we can change is basically backward swipe uh, swipe rather sensitivity uh, sensitivity uh, basically you can make this area where you grab the screen from bigger or smaller so if you get it too low this area is quite small so uh, you want to you won't be able to do it from here but if you make it bigger you might be able to do it from here so depends what you like okay let's go back next option is in the gestures is prevent ringing and this option allows you to mute your phone quite quickly by pressing the power button and volume up button together like this and you can select either vibrate or mute so if you select mute it's gonna switch to mute as you can see and if you select vibrate it's, it's gonna put your phone in vibrate okay let's go bad rather back my bad and next option is power menu. Here we can uh, basically enable or disable the device controls on, in the power menu. So if you press and hold the power button, you have this option right here, device controls, and you can control the connected devices like Google uh, speaker, Google home and stuff like that right here. And you can disable it right here by tapping on device controls and tapping the switch. And now when I open the power menu, the, the option is gone. Okay. Um, next we have power touch and this option is quite uh, interesting. You can enable it by tapping the switch right here and now we can open the uh, power tap touch menu by double tapping the power button like this. And we have this little menu and we can use some shortcuts like YouTube to open the YouTube. Uh, we can uh, open the calculator and stuff like that. We can also customize this uh, little menu to do it open it by double tapping it and tap on the settings icon and here as you can see we have a list of apps tools and contacts uh, we can add some stuff by selecting it basically oh no i believe you can only have a limited amount on the list right yeah no more shortcuts can be added so basically 
Uh, you can remove some by tapping on the minus button right here. And then you can add some by finding the app you want. For example, open, um, let's say Wi-Fi settings. And also I want to use some tool like uh, switch to the last app. And once you're done customizing this menu, you can open it. And as you can see, oh my bad. Now it doesn't want to, oh, this time I'll open. And now I have Wi-Fi, basically I can open Wi-Fi settings if I want to quickly uh, connect to Wi-Fi or something like that. And I can also check the latest app, which was Wi-Fi settings. Um, quite useful thing if you like to have some quick shortcuts on your phone. Okay, let's go back um, to the power touch settings and then to gestures. Okay, so we need to uh, close this, close this, and here we have gestures. Okay, below power touch, we have three finger screenshots. And this option basically allows you to take a screenshot with three fingers uh, by pressing and holding with three fingers on the screen. It's enabled by default, but you can disable it if you want. Next, we have fast torch. This uh, feature allows you to basically turn on the uh, flashlight on your phone by shaking it twice like this. And you can also disable it so it won't happen when you disable it. Next, we have quick capture. This option allows you to uh, turn on the camera up by uh, twisting your phone like that quite weird, but maybe some people have use for it. I don't know. You can also disable it by tapping the switch right here. And at the bottom, we have swipe to slip, to split rather, my bad. And this option allows you to open the split screen by swiping. And that's another thing I want to show you, the split screen. Basically, to open the split screen by default, you open the app, like settings, for example, open the recent apps, Press and hold on this icon above the window, settings icon, oh my bad. For example, settings icon, and here we have split screen. And now we can find the uh, app to open in split screen mode. Not every app supports uh, split screen mode, so be aware of that, but Google apps uh, usually support it. So for example, let's open the uh, Chrome. And as you can see, now we have two apps on the screen and we can use them. Um, we can change the ratio of the apps, so we can press and hold on this. Uh, oh my bad! Ah, oh, go back. I okay. Let me let me open it again. So uh, like this, split screen, and this. Now uh, we can change the ratio of the apps by pressing and holding on this black border, and we can then drag it to the top to change the ratio, for example, for Chrome, or we can drag it to the bottom to change the ratio for settings. You can also, or, or rather to close the split screen, you simply can uh, either drag it to the top of the screen, depending which app you want to close, or bottom of the screen. If you want to, for example, close settings and have the Chrome at the top, you swipe to the top, or if you want to have settings open, you swipe to the bottom. Okay. Uh, let's go back to settings and there, there was an option for uh, for this, for uh, split screen. Basically, the option allows you to open the split screen by swiping uh, left uh, from the left edge of the screen to the right edge and back again to basically like this and this to open the split screen. So now we can try it out like this and uh, now when you're in some app, for example, Chrome, you can quickly open the split screen by swiping like this and this. Oh, my bad. This and this. Oh, and then you can uh, find another app to open in split screen. And to close it, I'm not sure if you can use this shortcut to close it, but let's check. Uh, my bad. But you can, yeah. Basically, you can also close it by performing this action. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is uh, how to customize the icons on your phone. Basically, you can customize the icons, how the icons looks like, look like on your phone. To do it, open the Moto app, 
<coughs> here tap on the menu icon to open the menu tap on personalize select styles and here we can customize our icons we have a couple of presets like moto marine bloom but we can also create our own theme to do it tap on theme one here we can select the font type then tap next now we can select the color then tap next and here we can select the icon shape for example this one tap next now we have layout of the icons on our uh, home screen we have different types of grids as you can see then tap next we can name it right here then tap next and here we have our theme once we select the theme we want to use tap apply our icons should change and as you can see they did which icon changed okay and that should be all thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video